Today, I'll show you how to properly terminate or put the ends on RG6 cable. Doing this correctly will ensure a good connection to all of the various components of your signal booster. Improperly terminated cable can lead to poor connections, which means less signal is getting to the booster, and ultimately, less coverage area inside of the building. You'll need an RG6 stripping tool and an RG6 crimper to get the job done right. Some dikes or a cutting tool are also handy to have around for the job. First, take the RG6 stripping tool and line it up with the edge of your cable. Spin the tool around the cable several times. You'll feel the stripper cut through the shielding as you spin it around the cable. Pull the stripping tool off and remove any remaining pieces that are still attached. You'll be left with something like this. Peel the braided metal shielding back so it looks like this. Make sure that no metal shielding makes contact with the center pin. Then slip the RG6 connector onto the cable. Make sure that the center pin slips through the center of the connector and is flush with the top of your connector. You may need to trim the center pin if the center pin is too long or restrip your cable if it is too short. Place the connector and the cable into the RG6 crimper and crimp down firmly, bouncing the crimper a few times to ensure you've got a solid crimp. And with that, you're done. Now just measure out the proper length of cable and repeat the process on the other end. Check out one of these videos for more great tips like this. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.